Hi, this is Fritz Westover with Westover Viticulture, and today I'm standing next to a young Cabernet Sauvignon vine. It's coming into its second leaf, and the grower was able to get a partial trunk the first year. Uh, it was big enough, larger than pencil-sized wood, so they did not cut it all the way back to the ground. They left it a little bit high, and their goal was to get off the ground so they, they can get a little bit easier weed management. So what we're going to do is if the wood's thick enough up here and we can find one or two good shoots near the top, we could actually remove a lot of those shoots below and find our best two shoots for forming our trunks and eventually getting into our cordon. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove all these lower shoots, I'll sucker them off. I'm going to cut them off so I get a nice clean cut. If they're a little bit smaller, you can take them off by hand without cutting, but because they've hardened a little at the base, I'm now going to have to come through and make some cuts with my pruning shears. When I'm finished, I want to have two shoots instead of one because the roots already have about a year and a half of growth. They're large enough to handle two shoots, and this way I have kind of a spare. If one of them breaks or we get a windstorm or hailstorm, I've got a second shoot I can bring up. And what we'll do here is eventually I can pare this down to one shoot once it's hardened off, and I'll let this shoot grow up into the canopy, and then I can cut it here at the, the cordon wire and the fruiting wire and allow some lateral shoots to come up and if we have enough growth in this season, we'll actually start to form our cordons in year two.